Hi there, I'm Rachel and welcome to Good Move. This is your tutorial for your Good Move component attached to your fundraising campaign. You are here because the event that you've just registered for is also connected to Good Move. OK, what is Good Move? Well, we are your free mobile application connected to your campaign, offering activity tracking and mobile fundraising tools for you to utilize, bringing your event experience up to the next level. Did you know that participants who download Good Move and utilize its functionality raise on average 90% more than those who don't? That's a win for you and a win for your organization. OK, so how do we get started? Well, there are two ways, two pathways, if you will, to get downloaded into GoodMove. The first is an automatic email that will hit your inbox after your registration is complete. Now, make sure that if you're using your work email or you have filters set up on your inbox that you're checking your spam folder as well. Now, there's also the widget on your participant center. It will live there. It will say good move on it. You'll see it right in your participant center. Both the email and the widget will have directions or links to download good move from your mobile application store. It is completely free to download. And once you open the app for the first time, you'll be prompted to put in your email address that you just registered for the campaign with along with a one time passcode. Now, utilizing that one time passcode is going to authenticate you into your Good Move event. So now you're inside the application. Let me bring in my phone screen so I can actually show you around the mobile app and all of its fun functionality. I'm going to use the demo campaign for our tutorial today, but you'll see that there are three tabs under this events page. There's an upcoming and a past, meaning that if your event isn't live yet, it's going to live in the upcoming. And if it has already concluded, it's going to live in the past. Now, most of your events will be here in the live section, but if you don't see your event right away, be sure to check the other tabs to make sure that it's not already in the upcoming section. So here, I'm going to use that I like to good move it demo campaign, and this is my event experience. You'll see the fundraising progress meter, a couple of fundraising functionalities right off the top, the share my page and donate, but I am going to start with activity tracking. If your campaign has activity tracking attached to it, no two events are the same. So be sure to head to that bottom point system page to make sure to understand how do we gain points in this event. Now, for our demo campaign, you can be awarded points for pretty much anything, but your campaign could be a distance based campaign for running or cycling, or maybe it's a mental health minutes campaign, or maybe we're tracking micro sustainable actions. There are lots of different event types, so be sure that you are aware of how you're gaining points in your event. Now, how do we actually gain our points or track our points through Good Move? Well, there's a couple different ways. First, you can connect to any of the apps and devices that you have on your phone. You'll see here Apple Health, Fitbit, Garmin, Strava, and Under Armour. You connect to one at a time, but you can bounce between connections as well. And it's as easy as connecting. You put in your height, press that connect button, make sure that you're pressing OK so we're sharing data with Good Move and you are connected, your data will stream through automatically and award you points based on the point system in your event. Two other options, if they are turned on in your event, there is manual entry. You'll see here lots of different manual entry tiles. These are today time-based. So you're gonna put in the amount of time that you spent doing that activity, the date, and a little something about it. And then we also have gym check-ins. This is a GPS uh, feature. So when you're within a quarter mile of a gym or studio, you can check into that location and you're awarded points for the amount of time you spend there. And don't worry, if your location isn't already on our map, you go to that add your gym button down at the bottom, request a new gym or studio to be added, and our team will make sure it's there within two to three business days for you. And then back outside of logging and activity, we have the leaderboards. So here you're gonna be able to view the individual and the team leaderboards for both your activity score and your raised amount. So if I click on my own individual tab, now I can see my most recent activities. I can see my point thermometer, my fundraising thermometer. I've got a lot of work to do with my fundraising there. Uh, and also two ways 
to fundraise. That donate button is going to take you to your team raiser page to make a donation to your own campaign total. But the share my page button, that is where a lot of the magic happens. When I press share my page, I can now either ask friends to donate or invite friends to join the event with me. I'm gonna use the ask friends and family to donate feature. Keep in mind, they're almost identical with just different messaging. So asking friends to donate here, you're gonna see up top, that is your individual Team Razor donation link. You can copy that or you can copy a pre-made message. It also has your Team Razor donation link right at the bottom for you as well. And when I copy, I can now press the share button up top and I can utilize any of the social media that's on my phone. You'll see Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, LinkedIn. Uh, you could also use Teams or WhatsApp. Whatever's downloaded on your phone that you can post to, you can utilize. Or I can text or email. And when I do that, it's going to auto populate either the message for you or that team raiser donation link. You can go ahead as a user and edit this as much as you would like for that specific person that you are sending it to. And back out once more, if you wanna head over to that Teams page, you can also see your score and the raised amount where you are in relation as a team to all of the other teams inside of the event, if there are teams in your event. So if I click on my team card, now I can see where I am in relation to everyone else on my team. And by the way, I am in first place uh, in this event, but again, I can see that raised amount per person as well. And I can see those fundraising and activity thermometers up top. And that is about it for your tutorial for your event page, but I did just want to highlight one more functionality for you. Your organization may send you push notifications throughout the course of your event. And if you miss a push notification, don't worry, you're going to be able to access them here in this alerts button down on the bottom right. You'll see that there's a red circle there above my alert uh, bell, and that means I have a missed message. Now, you get messages every time you earn points as well, just so that you are highlighting those, but you may also and uh, receive other more customized messaging from your organization. So be sure to head to the alerts tab to make sure that you're not missing any messages from those folks over at the organization with special um, information on maybe prizes or upcoming event day information or impact statements, this is always a good place to come back to. Well, that's it for right now. I hope you had a wonderful time getting to learn Good Move. We are excited that you are here and we can't wait to hear about all of your success. Thanks again.